Good morning everyone. I'm here with Roadkill. Good morning. And we are going kayaking. I'll show you where. I'm back at Selby Canal and I don't know whether you can see that in the distance but it looks like we might get a bit of a sunrise. Sorry if I piss off a bit of a lisp. I'm sucking a mint imperial. Look at that. It's like glass. Right, let's get set up. Good morning kayakers. So we're in the uh, the Rye before 20 and we're going down Selby Canal and we're having a go at tandem paddling today. Not something either of us have ever done before. So this could be a bit of a giggle. <laughs> right. Let's get paddling. <laughs> Good echo. So this is actually working all right actually, isn't it? It is. And it is actually quite nice not having to um, not getting water in the boat. The only snag with this Ryber is I do find because the sides are high and the boat's wired, I find you have to tip the paddle more. So you end up when you're doing traditional kayaking splashing a lot of water in the boat. Yeah. Well, this ain't so bad, is it? We're just using a couple of Sevlor paddles that I got from Amazon. Well, if you see a few dog walkers down here, do you? you do, a lot, yeah. Unlike the other day when I was out, I've got the skeg in today, so it's tracking a bit straighter. Oh, it's so good to be back on the water. So this bridge, Rob, right? You know the uh, the main road we came in on. The, yeah. That's the that, that's where it continues over. William Jessup Bridge. That's right, William Jessup. I've no idea. I'm sure some uh, Selbyonian could let us know in the comments who who was William Jessup and what what did he do to deserve his own bridge. Oh, we've got a nice little rhythm going here. I've got to say, this is really delightful actually, this uh, tandem paddling. I don't know, it just seems to work really well. We're not even having to plan any strokes or anything. Nobody's having to shout, hey, hey, to keep these to the rhythm. It just works really well. Really enjoying this. Brilliant. It's what, Rob? Brilliant. He's taking the mickey out of me because when we went camping one time, everything I saw, I said it was just brilliant. Everything's brilliant. Say that again, Rob. It's it's isn't it? So left and right here. Have you seen the uh, old railway bridge? I think it's a railway bridge. Yeah. I wonder when this was uh, demolished then or what happened to it. Yeah. No idea. It's quite wide the canal, isn't it? It is in places. Ducks, Rob. Ducks. Ducks. They're probably. Some Well, obviously, ducking makes you cough. Yeah. And there they go. 
This is the first time we'll have been out in this boat and the interior won't be wet. They all seem to fly off in the same direction. I wonder where they get. There must be a, like a communal duck meeting point where they get together and slate paddlers. Yeah. Rob, you stick your paddle on the other side and push the other way. No, on the other side. And go and reverse. No, go reverse. That's it. Well, unfortunately, Rob's had a bit of bad news, so we're actually uh, heading back earlier than planned. And we're just sort of like, oh, I'm getting caught in some reeds and stuff. Hang on, that's my fault. I've got, oh, right, let me get. That was a bit rocky, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we're having to, uh, to to head back, unfortunately. But we will come out and do this again another day. I'm not going to take any more footage from this point onwards. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And, and if you want to try tandem paddling, I'll take go for it. It's uh, it's really good. All right, see you later. Bye.